18 product photography backgrounds on the cheap. Hi, I'm Allison J. Prince, and I have built four multi-million dollar businesses, and I specialize in e-commerce. Now, when I first got started, I didn't have any money, like zero amount of money. And so I had to be, figure out things to use that I had, and I want to help you skip a lot of the frustrations of starting your online business. So like, share, subscribe, because I'm about to show you an amazing list of ideas. Let's get started. The best day of all is gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the best day of the best day of Okay, before we get started, I wanted to share a screenshot with you. I'll probably put it up here because I'm not sure if you can see it, but these make my heart sing. So first of all, Donna, thank you for sending this over because seriously, oh, they make me so happy. All right, Donna says, I just wanted to share my clan win since end of April, almost $4,000 in two months. This is working on my side hustle part-time as I run, run an in-home daycare preschool with my seven kids Monday through Friday, 10 hours a day. And she goes on to say that she is a wife and a mom. You guys, almost $4,000. Making money online is possible. And I share my message because there are so many online scammer make money overnight things out there on the internet. I felt like it was my time to get out here and share the real truths of making money online and how you can actually make this your reality. I love this journey. I've been selling online for almost a decade and I like to show you how you can build your business and put money in your pocket because you have worked hard and you deserve it. So you've got a product, you're super excited to sell it, but you don't know how to set it up to make it look pretty. Well, I've got 18 ideas for you that don't cost a lot of money. Now, when I got started, like I said earlier, I didn't have any money, I had less than no money. So I had to figure out what to do with my products. Now I couldn't go out and rent a studio. I couldn't go out and get pay models. I just had to use what I had and what was around and what worked. So the very first backdrop that I ever used was actually my old wood deck. The lighting was perfect and honestly, <laughs> It was amazing because I could just open up my sliding door, take pictures while I was listening to my kids to see if they woke up from their nap. I didn't have time to go out and rent a studio or the money or the know-how to do it. So that was the first thing I did is use my deck. And I'm gonna flash through some of the pictures so you can actually see it in action. Another thing that I did with something that was small, like earrings or jewelry or hair clips or something smaller, I went to um, the DI or Salvation Army, whatever it's called in your state, where people donate products. And I went and I got an old book. I tried to find the oldest book that I could find. And it happened to be an anatomy book, which is pretty cool, right? And so I put my jewelry on and was taking pictures pictures were turning out amazing. And then <laughs> I looked over them and you guys, it was an anatomy book. And I chose the wrong parts of the anatomy to be showing when selling jewelry. So I had to go back and retake those pictures. <laughs> so make sure if you use a book, kind of skim over the words to make sure that they are appropriate for the general audience. <laughs> okay, the next thing, um, wood floors. So currently today, I will use wood floors. I will get my stool, I'll stand up, and I'll look down, and I open my front door, and the lighting is perfect, and it doesn't cost me anything. I don't have to go rent out a studio. So if you have wood floors, use them, and let them help you make money. Metal trays. 
A metal tray is perfect. We actually had one that was more of like a stand that I put an old picture on and I just put products on there. It was some earrings and it worked out great. I stood above it, looked down and took those pictures of the jewelry because when I first started, I liked to hide or I hid behind my camera and I wasn't about to like show my earrings in my face. I wasn't that comfortable in front of a camera. And so I found another way to display earrings and that was just on this metal stand. Okay, here, I'm gonna make this super easy for you guys. There is a list down below of all these ideas that you can get to for free. All you have to do is click on the link below and it's right there. So if I'm going too fast or I don't know, you don't wanna take notes, I did the hard part for you and took the notes for you. Okay, another thing is one time my husband and I we were leaving for vacation and I didn't have time to get my products ready. And so uh, as we were driving up, we stopped at a gas station and I got out of the car and I went over and I found, I don't even remember what it was, but I set my products on there, I took pictures and I was back in the car before the ca gas was even full. So look around your surroundings. If it, it, there's shade and it looks good, use it. It's fine, just use it. Okay, scrapbook paper. That's been a big, we've used that a lot in the past. Now don't get too busy and have a lot of words on it, like a polka dot or uh, some soft, faint lines. Be careful with lines because they can make your products look a little funky. Uh, will work perfect. So look around, scrapbook paper. If you still have any of that stuff left, uh, can be a great thing to use. Old doors, do you have an old door laying around? Or do your neighbors have an old door laying around? We used an old door that we got off of KSL. We live here in Utah and we have something called KSL uh, classifieds. And, or if you've got Craigslist, wherever. I think we bought the old door for $15 and we were able to use that for a lot of our product background drops. Slats of whitewashed wood. So we went and I got three or four old ugly slats of wood, painted them white, nailed them together, and then I did a lot of photography on that too. The sky, it's blue, it's pretty. It creates a nice contrast. Use the sky, it's free. Dump truck, have you ever thought of using an old rusty dump truck? Well, it can show a nice contrast between your nice beautiful new product and something very old, which had a great pop of color to it and that's actually where I took pictures of my blocks of wood and if you know that story that's how I that was one of the products where I went from zero to over nine thousand dollars in sales in 24 hours and I will link to that you guys my background it was a dump truck <laughs> it was awesome like seriously trash to cash story right there do you have an awesome brick wall like on your house or your neighbor's house Use that, that'd work. Just make sure it's shaded correctly. Bed, couch, concrete, a bowl. Get a pretty bowl from the Salvation Army or the DI, it'll cost you a dollar and you can use that in a lot of your products and brand all your products. Let's say you have hair bows, they come in or they are all in bowls. Another thing is a two by six board. We took some headbands and wrapped them around the two by six board. Worked great, featured the product, showed that they stretched and all the colors. I just hit the microphone, so if there's a big bump, that was me, you're welcome. Uh, a rocking chair and then a fence. Those are some of the products or the backgrounds that I've used that have cost me nothing or I'm a dollar plate from the DI, right, or an old door. You guys, you can do this for super cheap. You don't need to go out and rent big, huge studios to make this happen. Okay, wait, wait, I forgot to tell you one thing. If you stage your products way too much, they're gonna look staged way too much. Simplify it, make sure that your product is the highlight of your picture. Don't have your picture so busy that people are like, what is she actually or he actually selling? Simplify. Now, I do think that lifestyle pictures add a ton of value. You go to Amazon and it's just commodity. You just buy products and you don't really know how they're used. There's no vision with it, right? Because they're all white backgrounds. So I really like lifestyle pictures. So go out there, go build your dream business, put that money in your pocket because you have deserved it because you've worked so hard. Okay, the list is going to be down below for you to get to help jog your memory of places and ideas that you can use to put behind your products to help you to sell a gajillion of them. 
because that's what I want you to do and that's what I'm telling you. I'm giving you all these ideas that you can make it happen. All right, like, share, subscribe, all that social stuff, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.